and support on our proposal video and it was just super amazing just to see how many people around the world were just wishing us you know a lot of love and a lot of blessings and even like praying for our marriage our future marriage and our proposal right now um, it was really great to see the love so we decided to bring you guys on a journey our journey to yes. marriage yes. so what this entails is pretty much just our story, you know, um, what we've gone through, the struggles that we've faced, and the things that we're still working on now. We're going to be doing premarital counseling, so we'll be talking with you guys about what we're learning, how it's going, and taking you guys into that life as well. If you are keeping up with Life of Crystal vlogs, I will be putting them mostly on the Life of Crystal vlogs, but this will mostly just be a sit down, talk, me and him, about what we're doing, what we're learning, and really that's just kind of like the whole idea of um, this little segment of my channel. We just wanted to thank you guys so much for the likes, the shares, the love, and just everything, right? Yeah, honestly, we appreciate you guys and um, just getting our story out there, you know, it's, it's really not about us, um, it's about God, but we just want to share that with people, you know, we want to share true love and, and what that's like. And, um, yeah, we just want to appreciate you guys for that. Yeah, yeah, y'all are awesome. We super duper love you guys. Super duper love you guys, is that word? Super duper. Super we love you guys a lot. So anyways, we love you guys a lot and we're so thankful for the love. So today, why we're all really here for is to listen to how we how met. We met. How we met. Yes. How do we meet? How do we meet? How do we meet? She slid in the DMs. I didn't sign the DMs. In the I didn't find the DMs. Yeah. Don't lie on me. This how it went down. No, stop! Don't lie. DM. I was minding. Are my, you serious? I was minding my business, just going about Twitter, and next thing you know, notification pops up in my thing. I'm like, okay, you know, let's see who this is. And little, little do we know, it's it's Mrs. Crystal OG. Uh, and she's just reaching out like, hey, Zaddy, you, you fine or whatever. And I'm like, okay. She, I said, Zaddy. She's really strong, coming on really strong. Okay, but, uh, tell me more, please. Let's listen to this. You know, I'm talking about, hey, you fine, little Zaddy. Like, what's up with it? And I was just like, you know, I'm a wholesome man and <laughs> I'm not about to do this right now. So, wow. Uh, she was persistent and uh, I, ended up, I ended up giving her a chance. So that's your version, right? That's your version, right? Yeah. Right. So sticking to it. You're sticking to it. So, so you're a liar. <laughs> no, 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 no. So you're a liar. Anyways, let me clear this up real quick. First of all, I didn't come at you with "Hey, little Zaddy." I didn't come at you with any of that nonsense. It all started, yes, on Twitter. You got that right. Yeah. Okay, you got the platform right, like where it actually happened. Yeah. But it all started on Twitter, once upon a time. It all started on Twitter. So I get this follow and I'm like, who's this creep? Like, who is that, you know? And um, I'm like, okay, well, I've heard of him. I have a mutual friend that, you know, um, knows him. So he's not like a crazy person, like, thank God, at least, you know, or whatever. But anyway, so he then like, tweets me like right like so weird he like tweets me guys and he's just like well anyways I'm talking about this like thing right he tweets me he's like yeah I want to learn more about that <laughs> I'm like ew uh, leave me alone like I don't even like you or know you like hop out of my mentions you know you feel me right so anyways uh, after that happens he like asks me to come speak at his ministry and like I'm like yeah sure I guess and like he I mean, he hosts me and he like, he like begged me pretty much to come speak at his ministry. And after I came to speak, he was like, okay, I really want you to be my wife. And then I was like, oh my gosh, 
Pause. You're doing a lot. Pause. You're you're doing a lot. Pause. You're doing a lot. And y'all, he was like, mm -hmm. I've never met a woman so much more beautiful than you in my life. And the minute I set eyes on you, like my heart melted. Like he was using all types of like Shakespeare's language, y'all. So we're just gonna and this is gonna be a lie. We're gonna call this vlog the lie. <laughs> That's what it is. At just call point, it the lie. We're just gonna call this vlog the, the lie. lie. So we're telling the truth and nothing but the truth now, right? Nothing but the truth. So he'll edit it as we go. So if I if I misspeak, <laughs> he'll edit it and hopefully he'll edit it with the truth. Okay. So anyways, he followed me on Twitter and I was like, okay, you know, who is this guy? He looks very, you know, handsome. I mean, his profile picture is really lit, you know, black and white, you know, faded tone and the little, you know, grungy kind of look like the, yeah, I'm, I'm a smooth, you know, lover of the Lord and I, <laughs> I'll spread with you one time with the Holy Spirit type of dude. So I'm like, okay. You know, this, okay, he's, he's potential. So I was like, kind of like, not stalking him, but like monitoring like his, his tweets and like seeing like, oh, what is, you know, what is he tweet about? What is he, you know, thinking? What is he interested in? And I thought that he was really passionate about the gospel and social justice. And I was like, that's really cool. That's what's up. So anyways, I was tweeting one day about a research that I was doing, a research project that I was doing. And he was like, oh, that's so cool. Um, yeah, that's true. Kind of like agreeing with me. And this basically just asking me to let him know, like, you know, my updates with my research and basically like what I find. I was like, okay, cool. He just gave me an opportunity to slide in his DMs. Like he just gave me like the past. Like, here you go, ma'am. Slide in my DMs whenever you feel like it. So anyway, in that season, I was like, I want to be single, Lord. I just want to focus on you. I want to focus on my life. So I literally was like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Even though he gave me the free pass, y'all. He gave me that pass. Like slide in them DMs, little mama. I mean, I don't know if it was like that kind of gesture. But anyways, that's what I took it as. So after that, um, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna slide in his DMs, even though I got like, you know, updates where I research, I'm not gonna do it. So I prayed for God to like take away the feelings of me liking him, like away, like take away the feelings of having, you know, likeness towards you or just seeing you as my husband or seeing you as someone I could marry. Cause like, I really didn't want to get entangled in like my hopes getting high and then them being crushed. So they were literally gone at this point and like, we're still following each other. We're still like, you know, casually just like, tweeting each other, liking, liking each other's tweets, and just really no communication really going on. And then um, something had happened. I think it was like the Orlando shooting when they shot up the, um, the club. And um, people were tweeting about Christians and like just really bashing them. And like, I just felt like the body of Christ was being attacked so badly and it was being so misrep misrepresented. And um, people were just really throwing stones that were inaccurate, you know, like just a lot of stuff that wasn't like true, like calling out Christians, like, you know, liars, and that all Christians are going to hell, you know, and then what we believe isn't true, and just all this random stuff. So my heart just broke for the body of Christ because I felt like it was being attacked. And I didn't know what to say because I was just kind of like on hush mouth. Like I was just really, really overwhelmed with how much was happening on Twitter. So I just kind of like deleted the app and withdrew, you know, came back a few hours later and he is over here preaching preaching at the person that was like tweeting crazy about Christians and I was just like oh my gosh you better you know and y'all at this point I did not like him so just take that take note of that I did not like like him like that it wasn't like oh hey little zaddy it wasn't like that it was like oh like, thank you brother in Christ you know so anyways I am just so 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 grateful for him speaking up about this issue and speaking speaking against the lies that the person was telling about Christianity and just all this random stuff that was not true um, I just wanted to commend him for that because that's major like to be bold enough to do that that's huge so I wanted to commend him so I quoted his tweet in DM mode so I mean I slid in the DMs okay guys don't stone me but my intentions weren't to like you know secure the bag or secure the bay it was to literally just commend him for you know speaking out against speaking out for the body of Christ and speaking against the false lies that are being thrown at it so that was really my intention and then from there he was like oh so you know how long have you been in ministry for and like so I see you speak publicly would you like to come speak at my ministry and that's kind of where it started and then he got my number to keep in contact with me about like well, what I'll be talking about and what I'll be doing and what I'll be coming and that's when the friendship started getting cultivated and that's how that's how it happened that's how we met oh and then we met for the first time when I spoke at his ministry but we were friends up until I spoke at his ministry, and then we became Bay later on down the road. Yeah. Everything's good. Do you want to tell them a little bit about, I mean, post after we met? 
like after meeting we were kind of talking for a little bit or do you want to say that for like another video i'm sure okay so i have a question when you sorry for cutting you off when you met me what were your thoughts we were still friends but what were your thoughts when you first met me for the first time um she's not catfish i guess <laughs> Wow. So in, in in real life, that was that was my thoughts. Okay, she's not same. She's not catfish, so that's same. that's good. And um, you know, at this point too, like 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 she mentioned, we were still friends, so I wasn't even in a position of trying to make her bay. Um, but like she I mean, to. she was fine, you know. So she was good looking, and um, <laughs> she was yeah, she was good looking, and, and I mean. I noticed that, so, and I noticed that she loved God, and there yeah. were some other great qualities about her, you know, so, at this point, I wasn't really just trying to make her bay, though, so, uh, I would say, after we met, uh, it was kind of like confirmation of, you know, from talking to her, from what I saw, um, even hearing her speak, um, hearing her preach, the passion when she shared the gospel with it was just like man this is <laughs> this is this is why she did and then <laughs> after that I, I let her know that i liked her a lot and um she let me know that she liked me too so you know um we kind of kind of got started from there you know we mm -hmm. started talking um on the phone and we would talk like seven like hours seven hours we eight hours nine hours Tell, like, as if we didn't have any kind of class or any kind of life. Y'all, seven hours on the phone. I don't even know what we're talking about. Like, I feel like half the time I've just listened to you breathe and you just listen to me breathe. Is that what was happening? Literally, y'all, we would be on the phone for like seven hours and like, we wouldn't sleep. Like seven hours going until like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., like 5 a.m. type stuff. Like we were not okay. <laughs> like thank God that we didn't we didn't grow out of that stage of our relationship because we were on the phone forever. Now I mean we still talk a lot, but it's not like you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hinder myself of sleep and yeah. food because <laughs> I can see you all the time, you know. Because you know, and then of course we were long distance, so that was I think that's another reason why we were always on the phone too because you know we were long distance. So we're gonna cover being in a long distance relationship in another video so mm -hmm. make sure you keep up because we're going to be talking about the struggles and um just kind of what it was like you know i mean it was hard yeah it was it wasn't it wasn't like it's not for the weak in heart you know yeah it was it was pretty tough yeah but we survived we survived all right y'all that is our story about how we met and y'all i don't say you know go out here sliding in people's dms because that's not what i'm endorsing I'm definitely just saying that, you know, it really happened the way it needed to happen. Um, my intentions weren't to make Inga Bay or to pursue him or anything like that. Um, I really was just looking to like commend him for, you know, fighting for the body of Christ. And then in that, you know, he invited me to come speak and then, you know, we, yeah. we got closer and then we started to see like, hey, I like you, you like me, let's do this. And now we're here and um, yeah, so. Babe, remember when you told me that, you know, like in the beginning, really early on, you're like that, basically like you can see your wife in me? Do you remember that? It was very early on. I'm surprised you even said that really early on, but I mean, I didn't think it was weird. I just, I just, I just thinking back, I'm like, wow, like you said that really early, like early that, you know, you can see your wife in me and like, it's crazy how like we are here now and like we're actually getting married. And, um, you know, it's just crazy what God does through situations, through seasons, through people. So I hope you guys enjoyed our first couple video. We enjoyed making it and kind of like rejogging our memory about how we actually met Mr. Liar. And, <laughs> and um, yes, yeah, so make sure you guys share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already subscribed because we're going to be making more of these videos and also if you guys have any questions um leave them in the comment section below or feel free to shoot us an email or just dm us or whatever the case may be um we may not reply you directly but we will reply here so yeah we're excited for this lineup we have yeah. a lot of topics that we're going to be lot. diving into a lot. Get, and ready. get your notepads get your notepads yeah we're gonna we're gonna get into it but we're gonna be real we're gonna be Very honest real. and, and yeah. trust try to not waste y'all's time mm -hmm. or our time because mm -hmm. at the end of the day this is um, 
information for all of, all of us to really grow, yeah. you know, and mm -hmm. we just want to share that with you guys. So. Yeah. So Thanks yeah. again for watching. And we will see you guys next time on Yinka and Crystal. Oh. We're still working on We're a still working on a working name. On we'll get back. And also, side note, if you can think of a wedding hashtag that we can use, put it in the comment section and if yours is like popping, we'll really use it. Like we'll for real use it and we'll like give you credit. So please help us because we don't really know what we're gonna do, okay? We don't know. We just can't figure it out. So, anyways. Thank you in advance, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.